Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to film a haul. So it's a, gonna be like a collective haul, so from different stores that I have been shopping at and some things that I got um, as gifts. So I guess we'll just get started because I think it's gonna be kind of long, so we'll see. <laughs> I have a bunch of different things, like it's not just makeup either. So I have some fitness stuff, some um, a book, candle, things like that. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to show you was I actually got a Vox box from Influencer. If you don't know what Influencer is, it's basically like a social media platform for anyone. So you don't have to be on YouTube or anything um where you get free products in exchange for reviews so so they sent me the clean and clear new lemon products there's actually like five products in the line this is a card it came with but i only received three of them so i received the lemon zesty scrub this year the lemon juice toner, if you can see, and the cleansing wipes, these here. So I'm pretty excited about this. I love receiving skincare because I'm still in the phase of like trying to find what works best for me. I don't have like my holy grails yet. Although my moisturizer that I've talked to you guys about, my Belief moisturizer, is my favorite moisturizer. But um, I did need a new scrub and a toner, so this was actually really good for me to get. Clean and Clear, you know, it's more like for adolescents, I guess you would say. Because um, they're usually like for people with oily skin that are acne prone. But this line is their new line. I'm not even sure if it's in the stores yet. Everything has, what's the word? Naturally derived lemon extract. And I will say I've already smelled it and it smells delicious. It does smell like actual lemons, like not a fake smell. So I really like that. The thing about this line is it's packed with vitamin C which is, you know, for brightening, um, it's really good for your skin. So I'm going to try out these products because I have to do a review on them anyway. Well, I don't have to. The thing with Influencer is like, you could just not do anything. Like you get your box and if you don't do anything, they're not going to come after you. But um, you do reduce your chances of getting other boxes in the future obviously they're not going to keep sending you free things if you're not um, giving anything back to the platform so yeah and they don't care if it's like a really bad review or not because actually most of the things I have received from Influencer have just been like meh so I haven't given like stellar reviews too much so and they still send me things. So if you guys are interested, I do leave my influencer link below. It's not like I don't make money off of it or anything, but if you use my link, um, I get points, I think. So th the higher, like your points are your social impact. So, and obviously the higher your social impact, the more likely you are to get boxes. So if you guys want to support me, I mean, I do, test out everything I get and it's fun to show you guys things on my channel so it does help. Anyway, so that link is below. Yeah, so I'll let you know how this goes. It could go horribly wrong because I have dry skin as you know. I say it in every video and this is oil free. So yeah, we'll see. But first impression is the smell is really nice. I don't know what kind of order this is. It's kind of random. I'm just trying to get whatever is close to me. So I guess my next things will be my fitness products. 
Um, the first one I already mentioned in my January favorites, so I won't talk too much about it. But I got my replenishment of my Beach Body Performance Energize, so it's my pre-workout. It's a uh, lemon flavor. It is really delicious and it works, so I love it. I won't say too much more about it because I already talked about it enough in my January favorites video if you haven't seen that one. What I didn't mention is I also take a post-workout. So after um, my workout within like 20 to 30 minutes, I will take this. This is Beach Body Performance Recover. It's chocolate flavor. So this is like um, amino acids. Basically this tastes like chocolate milk. Um, it's really good. But I actually have noticed that when I don't use this, I feel like my muscles are more sore. And which doesn't really bother me. Like some people, if they're sore, they're like, oh, I'm not working out anymore. But for me, that's just like a sign that I actually did something like my workout was efficient so I don't mind being sore but this just helps like especially some days I work out at night and then in the morning so it's a short window between and if I feel like really tired then I'm like not gonna do my workout as well so that's why I take this it's not a necessity but honestly I just really like the taste it's like having a treat but it's actually good for you so um yeah it says here source of protein which helps build and repair body tissues assists in the building of lean muscle mass when combined with regular resistance training and a healthy balanced diet and source of amino acids involved in muscle protein synthesis so that is the beach body performance recover and this is 30 servings um i'm actually all out of my other one so it's good that I have a new one. I do get it monthly, so like I don't even have to reorder it. It just comes every 30 days. So I'm always set with that. So I went to Urban Outfitters. If you guys saw my Beach Cosmetics video, my first impressions, I told you guys I got that palette at Urban Outfitters. So I did do some shopping there um, one day on my lunch break. Um, so I got that palette which I am wearing again today. Um, I'm wearing the Pisces shades, mostly. Um, yeah, this lid shade didn't have like as much um, shimmer payoff as the Scorpio shade, but I still really like how it turned out. Um, so yeah, update on that is I'm still really liking it. But when I was there, I also got some scrunchies. <laughs> Are you guys excited scrunchies are back in style because I am as you know like I have really long hair and usually it's up so these are just a fun way to put it up like to put a high ponytail or I want to try like putting half my hair up and see I've never tried that before so I don't know but I really just like the colors of these ones and two of them are like velour and these two, actually these three, are silk. So for five of them, it was, I think I left the price on it, 14 yeah, $14 for five scrunchies, which like isn't bad. I'm sure it's, I could have got them for cheaper, maybe at like Forever 21, because usually Urban Outfitters is pretty expensive. But I thought it was a good deal for five that come like as a set. And I really liked all of the shades of these, of the colors. <laughs> it's not makeup. And the other thing I got there was this candle that I'm pretty excited about. The company is um, Out From Under. And it's a soy candle. It's called Sunrise Bliss. So I got this because it was on sale. If you didn't know, like if you never checked... The candles at Urban Outfitters are like way too overpriced. They're usually like between 30 and $40, which I don't really want to spend on a candle. But this one was on sale for 20 and look how big it is. It's huge. So this candle, what is the scent? It doesn't say on here, 
but on the box it says that the top note is fresh coconut leaf the middle is warm whipped cream and the base is tahitian vanilla bean doesn't that sound delicious it smells so good it's more like a summer candle i guess but yeah i really like this scent and i like like plain simple candles like this and usually soy candles they do burn better they burn more evenly so yeah i hope that i like it and that it actually smells when it burns because sometimes candles smell really good like when you smell them from the jar but when you burn them they don't smell like anything which kind of defeats the purpose but anyway yeah this is the candle that i got it was regular yeah 34 dollars so i got it for 19.99 i guess we'll kind of stick with lifestyle -y things and then at the end i'll do um my sephora products so i only have a few more I have two bath bombs. So the first one, I actually did get this at Sephora. It is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Bath Bomb. If you guys haven't heard, they have a, um, a body lotion, or well, body cream, called the Boom Boom Cream. So this is the bath bomb that's supposed to smell the same, I believe. And I got this because it was on sale because the regular price was something crazy, like $12. I think I got it for eight, which is around the same as like a Lush bath bomb. So yeah, it was better. And this had really good reviews. So I was like, okay, I'll just get it. It was like a Christmas thing. So it's like a, um, you know, an ornament and I can't open it <laughs> right now, but yeah. It doesn't say much on here, does it? Yeah, it just says, oh, it's called a bomba. So it says, pop our bomba in the tub and you're instantly transported to Rio de Janeiro's famous beaches. Sea foam swirls and rippling turquoise waters together with our Cheroza, Cherosa 62 signature fragrance will, memorize, will mesmerize your senses. Vitamins and minerals help to restore and detoxify for Brazilian babe skin. Yeah, so it's the same scent as their Boom Boom Cream. So I'm pretty excited to try this. And then the other bath bomb is from Lush. I had a gift card left over from my birthday, so I wanted another bath bomb. This one looks like this. It's, um, if I remember correctly, lavender, sea salt, and vanilla. I'm pretty sure. It smells really good. Some of the bath bombs at Lush are like really overpowering. And I usually take baths at night, so I prefer like a more calming scent. So anything that has lavender in it, I usually get. So yeah, this one is really nice smells very refreshing too and then i was at the bookstore and i had just watched one of kathleen knight's videos i don't remember was it her favorites her january favorites not sure but she mentioned this book it is big it's called the only astrology book you'll ever need it's <laughs> yeah it's pretty thick by Joanna Martin Woolfolk um, and it's like a new edition I believe so I don't know a lot about astrology but I know like a lot about my own sign which is Scorpio again if you didn't see my BH Cosmetics video I talked about it there because it's a palette like with zodiac sign names so if you watch Kathleen Light's videos um, she really likes astrology and she names like all of her collabs with ColourPop after like um zodiac signs and their symbols and things like that so she was saying like this is literally the only astrology book you'll ever need and i just happened to see it when i was there so i 
picked it up. And on the back it said 19.95 and I was like that's a really good price for such a big book. But I think that was the American price because it's still it ended up being like 27 Canadian, but I had a $5 coupon. So I got it for 22. But yeah, still I think that is a good deal for such a big book. And this is so interesting cuz what I wanted to know about was like moon signs and sun signs and stuff like that and this explains everything and tells you like how to find what your sun sign is and your moon sign and all of that and it even says like for your sign what are like the best foods you you can eat what are your cities like I find that so interesting I don't like put a lot of thought into astrology like I just find it fun I wanted to know more about um astrology in the way like it relates to actual like science like the moon and the stars and all that so i thought that was really cool um so i'm gonna read some more about this but i already looked at like my boyfriend he's a leo so i looked at his things and i looked at mine and i was like that's so accurate <laughs> so yeah i don't know if i'm just like being weird or yeah but if you are looking for an astrology book yeah this one is apparently the only one you'll ever need so finally I have um, another Sephora haul yeah are you surprised so well first I have some things that my mom actually gifted me so I'll start with those one of them she got from her boxy charm and she kind of gave it to me <laughs> reluctantly. I think she wanted to keep it. Um, but I was like, I have to try it. So I told her if I didn't like it, I would just give it back to her. It is the um, Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. So it's smooth and pore covering. Top secret for perfect makeup. So obviously it's a pore filling primer. I did wear it today. Um, I did notice that it blurred my pores like even without putting anything on top you could tell like visibly that it is pore filling so it does have like that slippery feel like silicone feel um the one thing that i will say is the smell of this is really strong and it smells like like cheap hand soap like in a you know like a public bathroom the hand soap smell that's what this smells like so I don't like that <laughs> part about it but I think it did work I mean my face feels really smooth um but yeah I'd have to try it with different foundations I tried it today with my makeup forever water blend and it the two didn't really go well together so I don't know if it's the foundation or like this maybe doesn't go well with my other foundations I don't know I'd have to try so for now I don't like the scent but I think it works for what it is so I'll give you guys an update if I try this out some more uh, or I'll just give it back to my mom so she can try it but the other thing she gave me which I'm really excited about because I wanted it forever but it's way too expensive for me she bought for herself um this the replica by the fireplace so it's a fragrance it smells delicious i don't know if it has an explanation here because i'm gonna be horrible at trying to describe it it says um burning wood and chestnut and it's for female and male so it's a unisex fragrance but this smells really good um the only thing is she preferred the way it smelled on me she didn't really like it for herself so that's why she gave it to me but yeah i'm really excited to have this i wanted to buy the small one but it's been out of stock for like weeks and weeks so yeah anyway now i have the full size but I really love this smell because it it does smell like by the fireplace that's the name of it 
but not in like a super like woody way like there's like a spice to it that's really nice like maybe a bit sweet tiny bit I should put more yeah it has a sweet smell which I like but it, it does smell like fiery also I don't know I just love it um but yeah if you guys like sweet scents um spicy scents you you will really like this my other favorite perfume just for reference is Giorgio Armani C um yeah I really like that one and the I also got for Christmas the flower bomb from Victor and Rolf I really like that one so I really like scents that are a bit spicy um yeah so I'm really excited to have this in my collection. So then I saw that Sephora was doing their weekly wow, which by the way in Canada our weekly wow weekly wow is terrible. It happens like once every two months, like totally randomly. And the stuff is like always sold out or like I don't care about it. So yeah. But this past week well, they still have the sale going on now. They're having the sale on these rubber masks by um, Dr. Jart, which I've always wanted to try, but they're $12 normally, and that's like too expensive for a one-use mask, in my opinion. So this was $9, which like, <laughs> I saved, what, $3? But still, I don't know. I love a good deal, I guess. So this is the Hydration Lover Mask. It says it soothes and moisturizes dry skin. So it's like a little pod, like this thing is the mask. And um, yeah, you put that all over your face. And then there's like a sheet mask part that you put on top, I think. Yeah, there's a step two. And then you leave it for, wow, 30 to 40 minutes, okay. So don't do this if you're in a rush. Yeah, and is that it? Yeah, and then you peel it off, I guess. And it's supposed to be like rubbery. I really just like the imagery of this, even though it's pretty creepy. I don't know, I think it's fun. So yeah, I got this. And... Then, uh, again, if you didn't see my last video, I was mentioning that I really wanted the cheek stamp from Kaja, so I got it. Um, they had the shade Koi in store, which is the one that I wanted. So this is like totally gimmicky, but I'm just like, I love gimmicks. I think they, they get me. So it looks like this. It has a little heart here, and then you twist it open. This is the stamp, so it's like this. This is like a foam, but like a stiff foam. Mine is like a weird shape, actually, but whatever. <laughs> um, so that goes in the top here, and you like twist it, but the product is at the bottom, like this. So the product is here. So it's a cushion blush. Um, so you take the stamp out and then you stamp it in the blush and then you stamp this on your cheek. And yeah, it does a little hard shape, but you don't leave it like that. Obviously you blend it out. But I really wanted to try this because I've been wanting a cream blush. Sometimes like my skin, because it's so dry, it already looks powdery even just with my foundation. So I don't love to like put other powder products on top. So I wanted to see if a cream blush works better for me. And yeah, I just thought this was really cute. And I really like the shade. Um, if you can see, it's like a dusty rose shade. I think that's actually the exact description if I remember correctly. But yeah. I'm excited that I have this now. I didn't think they were going to have these in store, so yeah. And then 
I saw the new Buxom full-on plumping lip creams. So these are new. I believe it's a new formula for them. It says glossy pout plumping shine, refreshing tingling sensation and intoxicating tropical vibes. So it does have like the plumping effect like their other products, but what really got me about this is the smell. It smells so good. It smells like the beach, like suntan lotion, but in a good way. <laughs> like, um, you know, like coconut tropical scent, which I love. I think I just buy anything that smells like that, to be honest. Um, yeah, but this is the shade Seychelles Breeze. It's like a, a nude, pinky nude, I guess. Should I put some on now? Hmm. Yeah, I, I already know I like Buxom glosses, so yeah, now I have this one. Oh yeah, it tingles already. I don't love the, I don't love plumping things, but I always end up liking the effect. I just don't like how it feels, really. But yeah, I like Buxom glosses because they're not sticky and they're just good. Yeah. Hmm. So, is that it? Yeah, so that's it for my haul. Now I need to go back to saving money and not buying as much stuff. But I like to do these videos to show you guys what I'm bringing into my collection and to talk to you about other things that I buy because I don't only buy makeup. Um, yeah. And if there's anything you saw today that you really want more like an in-depth look at, if you want me to do a video on it or a review, just let me know down below. And like I said, I will leave my, I'll leave a, like a bit more description about Influencer if you're interested. Because like I said, you don't have to be on YouTube to receive free products. And as usual, all my other social media things are below. So if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!